You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Hello Ladies After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Hello Ladies After oh, Show. Get in the mood. <laughs> Get in the mood. Hello, everyone. Bing is for doing, and we are doing an after show for Hello, Ladies. This is season one, episode two, The Limo. My name is Oriana Leo, and I'm going to let my guest co-host introduce themselves because this is our very first show together. It is. Hi, guys. I'm Jillian Lev. Hello. I'm Kylie Hodges. And so we begin talking about this episode. Now, this show, um, wow, Stuart Pritchard, our main character, he is, uh, he really has a way with the ladies, right? Like the song says. <laughs> literally <laughs> the king of awkward. Uh, I, I cringe. Yes. You know, the entire time watching the show because, ladies, we were talking about this before. How many guys do we actually meet when we go out that is exactly like the main character, Stuart? Cringe worthy, make you uncomfortable. He's def you yeah, he, sorry. He's definitely stuck in his own head. Does not like pay attention to the girl's needs at all. He's a total listen. narcissist, I think. <laughs> yes, I mean, absolutely. When I watch this, I feel so bad for Wade, who is clearly going through a hard time mm -hmm. and doesn't even know, I think, what a bad friend Stuart is. So bad because everything, all roads lead to Stuart. Absolutely. Sure. You know, like, uh, so we open up the episode and they're shooting uh, the web series, which was hysterical. I mean, I feel like it was a after suicide scene, so I'm sure it shouldn't be hysterical. Um, but Wade is using his wife's house or his house um, and she comes home. Right. So uh, we kind of get a little bit of a window into their relationship. We sure do. And um, she's she's at the breaking point. But we get to find out all kinds of juicy tidbits about why this relationship is failing while we get to see the other two characters, uh, Stuart and his tenant, Jessica, yes. feel extremely awkward. Yeah, it's such a cringeworthy moment, you know, when um, Wade's wife, is it Marion? Marion. Yeah. Marion is <laughs> crying, telling him that she wants to take a break for a month, and then Stuart <laughs> just pops in, hey guys, need the keys. 30 seconds later. Well, what hey we guys. learned is that she bought a sex toy. She she, did. she thinks about never meeting him. She does. And so. all the time we have the e-brake issue, the car alarm <laughs> issue, <laughs> finding the keys. So just painful, she I think. She's so watch. selfish. Yeah. She's yeah. so selfish. But, you know, I I know that Stuart isn't the most likable character, but my heart goes out to wait in this episode Absolutely. because he is just, he's suffering and he seems like such a sweetheart and I feel like him and his wife were married for a certain reason. Uh, they both seemed like they were extremely passive, and I think that now his wife is changing tune because she said that she didn't have an identity before, and now she's telling it like it is. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Stuart is going to ride this wave as long as he can. If it means a free limo ride that was going to go to Marion, he's going to take advantage. He's going to take advantage of every opportunity that comes his way. Well, because you know guys in limos get laid. Okay. Like, well, clearly. apparently not. <laughs> Apparently, only guys in well, wheelchairs. Well, well Kivis. Kivis. Kivis got laid. Two for two. Two episodes yeah, now. Yeah, he, he had has, play last, mm -hmm, last episode. Last episode. Yeah. So, uh, pretty funny. The limo, you remember when you were 12? Somebody got a limo for their birthday, and you were that excited? I really feel it. I, I could Sister. relate to that, their excitement, <laughs> but I was like, that's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. For them. And what were they singing when they popped their head out? Born to be wild. Born to be wild. Okay, but born to be wild with a, a five point turn yeah, yeah, yeah. in his cul de sac. It reminded me that that moment reminded me of Austin Powers when he's driving the little golf cart in the yes. hallway and he's trying to back it up. And oh my like, gosh, Rrr. that's fantastic. Yeah, it's the same thing. And I love how so they're driving down and you know Stuart opens the window and he looks up at the Four Seasons mm -hmm. billboard ad and he looks at this woman and is like, "That's my future wife. She's a model with a PhD." And you're just thinking. Take a look in the mirror, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. that these are the guys that we meet. Where we're like, no, 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 no. Like, you're a five, and you need to stick with five. 
Just know your limits. He know has your some, boundaries. He has some league issues. He does you know? have league he issues. He pretty much shoots out of it all, all the time. time. Yeah. Um, you know, A for effort, B for <laughs> confidence. Uh, yeah. But F for execution because he Ooh. keeps going home <laughs> empty handed. Where is chicken wings? The chicken wings weren't in this episode. I was like, oh, he's going to go to the store. Totally. And he's going to have microwavable wings. chicken wings by himself. Yeah. Yeah, oh. it probably got cut, I bet. <laughs> um, that's a good, good, uh, a good segue. Um, speaking of not eating but just drinking wine, mm. the ladies that come over to the yes. party, to the right. salon. The, the salon. But ironically, how many of those ladies do we know, too? We yeah. all have those friends, right? Yeah. You know, the gaggle of L.A. actresses. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that, um, uh, what is her name? Uh, Jess. Jessica? I think Jessica is sort of going through, like, an identity crisis a little bit. Absolutely. You know, she wants to be in the acting world, but... These are the people that she's surrounding herself with, and I think that's why she makes this push to have a sophisticated night. Right, and she clearly doesn't know her audience well enough no. because they're totally not into it. <laughs> but I was laughing when they were talking about, have you tried Gwyneth's gluten-free recipes? Oh my God. No, but I really want oh, to. Oh, I read Goop all yeah, the time. Yeah, I want that, too. I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even talking about anything. No. They haven't even done anything. No. They're talking about something that they want to do that yeah. we all know they won't do ever. Exactly. I just feel bad for her because, you know, she, I think she just wants to infuse a little bit of intelligence in her life, perhaps. And I think she's struggling with that. Um, but I also think that although Stuart is the king of awkward, I think she's pretty she, awkward herself. Absolutely. And I think that that's why they click. Right. Well, so when we get into predictions, but, you know, you can see there may be some kind of chemistry there. Something. And I really hope there is because she would be the only thing I think that would make me like Stuart. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Like some kind she of humanization. Would, yeah. Bring she him down a couple him. levels. Exactly. I don't know. I see. I, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that you know her her web series kicks off and she sort of gets a, a new group of friends because these ladies that she was hanging out with are just there's well, there's nothing there. Clearly, no. she needs to work on uh, the people that she's surrounding them. I just wrote down on my notes that the girls wanted to listen to different music. Something with words. <laughs> We have something with words. Um, I just feel like we shouldn't talk about North Korea. Yeah. It's like it's, it's Saturday, Saturday night. night. <laughs> Those girls are like the perfect example of Saturday night girls. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. there's no consistency. Just they're the woo girls. And, yeah, they're woo Total girls. Total woo girls. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to bring time my mother into yeah. this, yeah, no, but like it's all perfect. about the woo. <laughs> it's all about the woo. But you know what was really what, funny, but also I thought sad commentary. The woo girls were the tourists from uh, uh, Indiana, and uh, uh, it was an St. Louis. Louis. St. Louis. I think I love Andy, oh. uh, where? Uh, St. Louis, maybe? Missouri. Sorry. Okay. Missouri. Okay, so I don't like. know my geography. Um, I thought it was an I state. Forgive me. <laughs> there's but, an I in St. Louis. It's fine. Thanks. Uh, and Missouri. Yeah, there's Thank two of them. Um, but they were so fun and so into it and so interesting. Mm-hmm. And the girl that was sitting next to Stuart had all these things in common. That moment made me so angry. Like, that is what topped off my not I don't hate Stuart but I really don't like him now (laughs) that woman would have been great for him Mm -hmm. and he's so delusional and like you were saying with the billboard he's got his eyes on the big shiny prize but he does not have a reality check at all and he he's still like a 13 year old boy he doesn't you know what I think a 13 year old boy would like and pretty much everyone else uh the adventures of serial buddies is a movie (laughs) that uh, our executive producers, Amazing. Kevin Undergaro and Marie Menounos, uh, put out into the lovely world. It is Dexter meets Dumb and Dumber. It's fantastic, hilarious. We've all seen it. We love it. We love it. You need to help support us by, you can find the movie on iTunes, on DVD, on Netflix. Uh, rent it for four ninety nine on iTunes, five ninety nine other places. It's hysterical. And, and you know, you like us here. Please Doing help us stay shows? here by by checking it out. I know. So okay, back in back into this. Back into it. Um, so did you guys do you guys remember recently Dustin Hoffman came out with that? There was kind of that little unscripted video of him mm. regret like speaking about one of his regrets uh, when he did Tootsie. 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 Mm-hmm. And he was kind of being like, "Can't you make me look better? Like I look like an ugly woman." And they were like, "No, we can't. This is as good as it gets." Yeah. And he had this sudden realization that. There are women that go through life that can't be any more attractive than they are, but they are very interesting. And he cries on camera because he feels so bad that he missed out on so many interesting women Mm -hmm. because they weren't the best-looking ones. And I saw that moment 
happening where he was missing out on an interesting woman yeah. that he had so much in common with mm -hmm. because he was chasing some ridiculous fantasy Absolutely. that doesn't even make sense for him. Which he yeah. finds out as soon as he gets into the ambassador. But you know what? I don't think that it's going to make a difference because just the way that his character is, I just feel like he's still going to go for the reach right? no matter what. And mm -hmm. it's frustrating because he did connect with that girl and you know good for her for saying like you know f off Absolutely. i don't need yeah. you yeah I, I mean i liked the situation for what happened in the end yes. for the woman um but for him you know he deserved what we got he went home alone with his roommate it just makes me <laughs> totally <laughs> like eating jelly beans is that what it was <laughs> the back of the limo some, oh. mi some mixed nuts mixed yeah. nuts yeah <laughs> But I, it's like, know. what is it going to take? This guy is so delusional. Like, what is it going to take to bring him down a couple notches? I don't know. But he, it's like, the, the guy in a wheelchair went home with ladies two nights in a row. Yeah. You know why? Stuart. Because he's he, real. He's Stuart. real, and he knows how to work it, and he just loves the attention of the ladies, no matter who they are, what yeah. they look like. Yeah. He gives them love. He does. He appreciates them. Yeah. He's and a that, listener. He is a listener. Stuart is not. You and what? what do ladies want? To be heard. Oh my That's gosh. all we want is to be heard. Preach. <laughs> preach, preach, sister, preach. Preach, I like it. Yeah. What did this just turn it. into? This is like, it's late. It's dating it's hello ladies. ladies. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is, is hello ladies night. The hello ladies, ladies of hello night. ladies. Exactly. <laughs> um, what else happens? You know, I just, I think that we should, you know, maybe go into some predictions. I what do think, you think? I think we also should. Um, right. I, I, uh, I'd like to say one thing about Stuart, though, before we do, is that I think I'm wondering, I guess this is a prediction, but I'm wondering how his relationship to ladies mm -hmm. is going to change. Like, do we don't know anything about him. Has he had a past relationship? What was his life in London like? Mm -hmm. Like, why is he like this? What made him into this person? Did he come to L.A. thinking everything was, he's going to be... Right. Jazz hands, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> famous or Glitzy, have some kind of life. Like, why is he, we don't know anything about him. So is that going to be revealed or is it just going to continue to be awkward? Maybe this relationship with Jessica mm -hmm. will draw some things out of him and humanize him and make him be more likable. Mm -hmm. Because I feel at this point, I'm just, I'm cringing. I don't know. As far as predictions, I think that, something is going to happen between him and Jessica, or at least I want it to happen. Yeah. Like we said, you know, I feel like we might root for them as a couple as opposed mm -hmm. to anybody else, um, or if it's another situation like the woman in the limo. You know, somebody that's more on his on his playing field, honestly, because right now he is just, he's delusional. Like, ah. um, And then I also just would love to know more about who he is as a person. Right. Again, like, I'm very curious, and also... My final prediction is something with that girl on the billboard. I feel like he might yeah. hunt for her. Right. Like that could be a potential storyline because clearly it was a opposed actress and it wasn't just some random billboard that was in LA. Right. So I just. It's a, a seed that's been planted yeah, maybe. Because they, sh they showed the billboard twice. Yeah. So I'm thinking. You know, I was also thinking about um, Stuart had mentioned but when you said you wanted to know more about Stuart he talked about um girls that I dated in the past or whatever but he really he, he kind of already I feel like he's a kind of already said like his expectations in LA is to have a woman with a PhD and to be good looking so right. I think that uh I'm wondering when the show is going to stop being little vignettes of his failures yes and turn into Stuart actually coming to terms with Stuart who right. is Stuart and what is Stuart really capable of? Um, also, uh, I hate to say this, but Wade has not hit rock bottom yet. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm so sad because we're going to see him hit rock bottom and I don't know what it's going to be. But rock bottom is not crying in the front of a limo. And, no. well, and that's a bummer. I, well, that's interesting because I was kind of thinking he might be on his way up. Like, he managed really? to pull himself out of the ladies, because sure. remember, he was mm -hmm. just bombing. Right. Yeah. Right? He was talking about divorce and abortion. Not cool, right? In front of ladies, no. first episode. <laughs> um, this time, he managed to get out of the car, mm -hmm. set, set, put up the divider, and have a little cry time. Sure. So I was looking at it from a different perspective. Like, maybe, although he hasn't hit rock bottom, he's learning how to take some alone time. I hope he gets a hottie toddy. I'm yeah. like hoping that he's out one night with Stewart and he scores big because I think he needs a big score. He needs to score from like from Stewart. He needs to like take a girl from Stewart. Yeah. That would be cool. He's worthy of it. 
That's mm-hmm. why. He's worthy of love. Stuart has not earned no, it. No, Stuart yeah. hasn't done anything really um, authentic yet. Yeah. I think that's what we're looking for, some authenticity. Mm-hmm. And hopefully that relationship with Jessica will develop, or with anybody, yeah. where we can see. And he can be vulnerable because he's right. he laughs everything off. One of the things I took away from last week's uh, episode, the pilot, was remember he's buying everyone drinks. And he, he was just the <laughs> pathetic guy that everyone was taking advantage of. No, sorry, I don't work here. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, where's your spine? No, it's completely spineless. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. just spineless like he would do anything, but he won't stand up for himself either. Yeah. And it's I just have no respect for this guy. Yeah. No. Well, six episodes left, so... We're, That's it. Yeah, we need we need to make wow. some moves. So yeah, people. they've got us. They've got to give us some meat. I think to chew on here. I'm excited for yeah. next week. Okay, so predi- So we said what our predictions were. Mm-hmm. We can restate a little bit. Yeah. Hope there's some meat and potatoes coming out of that relationship with Jessica. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hoping that we find out a little bit more backstory about him. See see Wade. Um, oh yeah, whether he spirals his, out of control. Yeah. Or or if he's on his way up. If or he's not. on his way up, and you know, Kivas, he's doing really well. Yeah. So I don't know. I want to know more about him. So do I. I think he's the most interesting <laughs> character. Yeah. He is, sort of. Yeah. But I think the way it plays, he's kind of comedic relief. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know? But that's okay. So uh, let's introduce ourselves again to the people. Yes. Where can the people find you, my ladies? Let's start with you. Um, you can find me on Twitter at the Kylie Hodges. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Jillian Leff or on my website, JillianLeff.com. Ooh. And Miss at Miss Oriana Leo on Twitter or at uh, www.bethebestguest.com. And that's it for tonight. That wraps up our short uh, episode <laughs> for the limo for Hello Ladies, but I bet you anything we're going to have much more to talk about next week. Yes. So. Bye, guys. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.